how to review a research paper. Let's first try to understand the context around it. So as a researcher, when we conduct some research, we report it in the form of a research paper. Then we send that paper to a conference or to a journal. Now the conference or journal, they assign it to uh, reviewers who are experts in that field. And then they give the recommendation along with some comments that whether the paper would be accepted or the paper needs to be rejected. As a PhD student, you might be on the program committee of a conference or you might be the reviewer for a journal. But even otherwise as well, it is important for you to understand how to review papers because it enables you to read papers critically and identify the strengths and weaknesses of a research paper. Now the question is how to review a research paper. So basically, while reviewing a paper, we need to answer five questions. Question number one, is this research important? So we need to, while reviewing a paper, we need to see whether the problem is real. Is it of some significance? Is there somebody who is gonna benefit from it? How the industry is gonna benefit from it? How other researchers are gonna benefit from uh, the problem they are trying to solve in that paper? Question number two, novelty, is this research new? So even if the research somebody has done, it is important, but it is not new, which means that others have already done that research. Again, it becomes a question mark on the credibility of that research. So within that, we need to look at the point that whether the um, authors, they have properly positioned their work with respect to the related work or not. So for answering this question, you need to look or focus more on the related work section of a research paper. And over there, you can see that whether the work that they have done, is it properly compared with the existing literature or not? Number three, methodology, which means that is this research properly conducted or not? So here we need to look at different uh, kind of aspects in this research. Like, for example, whether they have used the correct set of data, whether they have uh, analyzed the data properly, whether the subject that they have uh, focused on, is it right or not. So all these questions you can uh, look for in the methodology section of a research paper. And the point here is that even if your research is important and it is novel, but at the same time it needs to be conducted in the proper way. If the methodology is weak, it becomes a question mark on the findings that you have produced. And as I mentioned that for uh, evaluating how good or bad the methodology is, you can focus on the methodology section of a research paper. Number four, verifiability, which means that whether other researchers can verify or replicate this research or not. So normally what we do is that in, uh, for example, in the computer science field, we provide all the data and we provide all the code along with the paper so that other researchers, they can replicate our findings for to see whether the research is going to be replicable or not we can focus on the methodology section that how well they have um, narrated their methodology and whether other researchers can follow that methodology to, to produce the same findings number five presentation is the research properly presented or not so even if you have done very good research, but you're not able to communicate it properly, it becomes, uh, you know, your research gets a hit in the sense that it doesn't reach the masses. So when you have done very good research, it's also important that you present it in the right way, which means that you, in your paper, you make use of proper tables, proper figures, your uh, text is free from uh, errors, from grammar issues, and so on and so forth. And it's important uh, because as a reader, when I read a paper and if there are many typo errors or there are many grammar issues, it turns the reader off. So in order not to make that happen to a reviewer, we need to make sure that before we submit a paper, we thoroughly proofread the paper and uh, make sure that it is free from all kinds of such issues. And at the same time that we have put in uh, the decent effort to present our findings in the right manner. So just to summarize, in order to review a paper, we need to answer 
five questions. Number one, is this research important or not? Number two, is this research new or not? Number three, is this research conducted in the proper way or not? Number four, is this research replicable or not? And lastly, number five, is this research presented in the right way or not?